Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Yesterday, we unlocked this thing. If you missed that video, I will link to it in the description down below. It was, um, interesting. In that video, though, I said that today we would go into the festival playlist and unlock this, the Toyota 4Runner. All we need to do is get 20 points in the autumn season, which should be pretty easy. Before we actually go and unlock this, I have good news. Today, we officially drop these in the AR-12 store. I know a bunch of you guys have been asking for some AR-12 World Tour stickers. Well, they are officially live today. That literally took us like 20 minutes and there it is, the Toyota Forerunner. This Toyota Forerunner is the TRD Pro, which means it has 270 horsepower. 280 foot-pounds of torque. It's actually not that heavy for a vehicle this big. It's less than 5,000 pounds. Well, it certainly doesn't sound as good as the Tundra. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any... Fun facts about the incredibly slow Toyota 4Runner. For those of you who don't know, Toyota's actually been building this 4Runner for longer than they've been making the Tundra. This is actually the fifth generation. Fifth generation of 4Runner. I'll, I'll pretend I was looking where I was going there. If you saw my video that I made yesterday on the Toyota Tundra, I explained how Toyota had been making that Tundra since 2007. And I've done a little bit of research, and I think Toyota's the laziest company on the planet because they've been making the 4Runner since 2010. You might be asking, well, Nick, have they done any upgrades since 2010? Yet, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes, they have. Here, let me show you. This is the Wikipedia article for the fifth generation. They've actually listed us out here nicely. All of the model year changes. In 2013, the 4Runner received a facelift. In 2014, the TRD Pro trim level was introduced in the United States. Very cool. And then as time went on, um, the, the upgrades got a, a little bit, um... Worse. In 2019, Toyota announced all Forerunner trims will receive Toyota Safety Sense P, as well as two additional rear seat USB ports. Toyota really pushing the bounds of what's possible. Most models also feature GPS. The weirdest part about the Forerunner is the sale. When the fifth generation came out in 2010, they sold 46,000 of them. However, um, they literally didn't do anything, and they sold 144,000 of them. It's literally the same car, and they're selling more of them now than they did when it was brand new. I think what we've learned today, you can sell more when you have USB ports. So from now on, all AR-12 merchandise will feature a USB port. For legal reasons, that is a joke. Uh, I will not make a hoodie with a USB port on it. I read all of that stuff earlier and that got me thinking, why do people like the 4Runner? So I decided to go onto the 4Runner 4. 95% of the comments were like, I bought a 4Runner because I like it. It's unbelievable how many of these things they sell for the simple fact that they're cool. Saying this, you, you might be asking, Nick, what's your opinion on the 4Runner? I like the 4Runner a lot, a lot. I understand the Ford Explorer is probably a better car, but I like the 4Runner. You know that Top Gear meme? This is brilliant, but I like this. That's what this car is. And the USB ports. Don't forget about the USB port. I'm actually feeling quite confident with the 4Runner. I want to take it online because I think that's a brilliant idea. So let's see what customization we have. No way. Is it actually? It is. It's the exact same engine swaps as the Tundra. This is way lighter than a Tundra. This is going to be even better. If we're making this into an A-class auto off-roader. Racing V8? I think we go racing V8. We've actually got some visual body mods for this, so yo, you can add a big old bash bar onto the front. That is sick. How about a rear wing, actually? Oh, I mean, I wasn't expecting the rear wing to actually look nice. However, I was hoping for it to break
bring our class down a little bit more than just one PI. Again, we've got the exact same like snorkel on there. Okay. I'm just, I'm really hoping that this thing has some drift suspension, but it is not looking good. All we've got in here is some off-road race tires, which we need for this thing. The tire size is even exactly the same. 335 in the front and 335 in the rear. Please have suspension. Please have suspension. Please have suspension. No! I'm just going to quickly update the title of the stream. That is one of the most disappointing things I've ever seen in this game. I guess I'm going to get some race brakes. I guess I'm going to get some anti-roll bars. I guess I'm going to get some weight reduction. After all of our upgrades, I mean, I've got 900 horsepower, 4,200 pounds. It's not bad. <laughs> Loser! Let's go forerunner. Let's actually try to take a corner this time. Okay, good, 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 good. 100 miles an hour. We're going to get the GMC Jimmy. Lol, JK. There goes another guy. Uh... At least I'm not having that big of a problem. This one feels better now. It's so slow, though. It's so slow. I was expecting this car to be a rocket ship. It's got so much potential, again, to be really good with all of those engine swaps. And it's just not. Okay, we've only got like 25% of this race to go. I, I want to get in front of one of these guys in front of us. Uh-oh. 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 Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't. Why? Why? That could have been an easy overtake. <laughs> Maybe the Forerunner's just not that good in A class. S1 class. How hard can it be? We're going to break all the rules. We're going with our two Jay-Z. Uh, I'm going to want a bash bar because I'm going to crash into everything that moves. I guess I'll get some lightweight rims. That might help a little bit. Like, it saves 50 pounds. S1 class, 869. 3,800 pounds, 1,300 horsepower. Yes! Beautiful. Now that I think about it, we probably would be able to drift this thing. All-wheel drive, 2JZ, regular tire. Because that wouldn't rely on us having drift suspension, would it? Maybe not. We will come back to that idea and do some investigative work. For now, though, let's yeet the Forerunner straight down the side of the volcano. And when I say straight down... Uh -oh. I landed on a raptor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That is nearly 200 miles an hour. Um, sorry, sorry, Raptor. The Forerunner's literally just squishing all of the Raptors. What is going on? The Forerunner sucks in the corners again. Oh, and it, it le- Oh my god. Oh my god. No. 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 Where are you go- Okay, you didn't even try to hit the checkpoint. Bro. Bro. Yeah, thank you. Everything in the game is weird today. And I don't understand why. Here we go again. Break before the jump so we don't lose the back end. Thank you. Uh, that... Those physics do not make sense. It was going... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Can we recreate that? That was so weird. I've truly never seen a jump like that. So bring the nose down. I don't get it. Twitch chat says I need to accelerate in midair. I mean, okay. Wait, what? I'm going to break before the jump to keep the nose down. Keep the nose down. And then it's level. Gun it. I need to try this with another car. That is not supposed to happen. It shouldn't happen. So break. Level. Gun it. No, see? Nothing happens. Nothing happened. We try with this guy, break again. Level it out, level out, level out, level out, and gun it. Uh, 
So that's got to be one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in this game. We've already got a fully maxed out 2JZ. We've already got all wheel drive. I'm just going to remove the big old front bash bar. The There is no rear wing. There are some side skirts, but those can stay. And then we're going to go back to our stock tires, which should be better. Again, the exact same way as the Toyota Tundra. There's no drift suspension for this. So we're going to need to hang it out and hopefully be able to drift. So we're basically running the exact same build, just with worse tires. Since this thing doesn't actually have any drift suspension, I kind of need to make my own. And since it's all wheel drive, it's gonna need to be very, very aggressive. Yo, desert sand looks sick. What a cool paint job. I love the color. Let's see, Forerunner. And in. Okay, so snap that way. Then snap back the other way. I really gotta push it. And if I push it a tiny bit too much... It's gone, and I'm never going to recover from it. We're looking okay. Like, it's not a bad score. Considering this thing... Uh-oh. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Good. Go. Uh-oh. <laughs> 173,000. Man, I'm honestly so disappointed, though. I love the Tundra. I love the Forerunner. I had such high expectations coming in that we'd be able to turn both of them into absolute monsters. I was just let down severely. Absolutely. Like, it's... I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed.